So I came across this question in the forums, which is asking how to add a wrapper around side, uh, outside all of the blocks in the editor. Um, this person has discovered they can use this filter in PHP to add a wrapper around each block on the front end of their site. So that's what the user would see if they visit your site. But they're asking, how do I do this within the editor? Well, the way you do that is to use filters. And uh, these are documented on the block editor handbook under reference guides, filter, block filters. If you scroll down, you will eventually get to the block list block filter. And it's used to modify the blocks wrapper component containing the blocks edit definition. So this is what we want. Um, now, if we switch over to Visual Studio Code, you see here I've uh, imported create higher order component and also add filter. I've just copied exactly what's provided in the docs. Uh, if we look here, I basically just copied this, uh, but I've changed instead of using the WP Global, I'm actually using ES Next. I'm importing uh, the, the from directly from the packages here. So with that in place, all I'm doing is I'm getting the props, and this is the props basically for each block. And instead of just, re I'm now returning, instead of just returning the block list block and on this props, I'm now adding a wrapper around the block list block. So if we look in WordPress now, we should be able to add some, let's just add some random blocks. Uh, probably a columns block is a good idea. Um, like that, and just a normal paragraph like hello world and a heading, hello heading. Okay, and if we look down here, we'll see that all of the items now have this wrapper around the actual block itself. Can we see that there? Um, that's great, uh, but you'll notice the column block looks a bit odd. There's the columns block. And that's because each of the individual column singular blocks now has this wrapper around it as well and that's not expected and therefore the css that's default is not working so what i suspect this user actually would want to do is only wrap the outer blocks at the root level with this wrapper um, i'm guessing they may not want to but i suspect that would be what they want so in order to do that what we really need to do is um, conditionalize so if there is a root client ID, then we're just going to return the block as normal with no wrapper. So a root client ID is, is provided, is defined rather, if the block is nested within an, in another block. Otherwise, if it's at the root level, if it's the topmost block, um, then it won't have that. So um, if we do that, it's just going to return normal. So a column, singular block, will now just return without a wrapper and all root level blocks will return with a wrapper, hopefully. So let's save that, wait for it to compile. And while we're doing that, we can switch back over to the editor, save that draft, and then reload. And there we go. Just inspect that again. So again, we have the root level all with the wrappers around them. And if we now look at the columns block here, you can see already it's visually correct and each individual column is now not wrapped in that wrapper and therefore that CSS is working. So um, this is a quick experiment really, but it's one way that you can wrap each block in a, in a wrapping element. Um, I find it works quite well. Um, there may be other ways to achieve this, but um, this is one way that I found that works. Thanks, I hope you find that useful.